another Swift is taking over Hollywood. Plus, late night TV was kind of lit last night. Pregnant Cardi B co-hosted with Fallon. Andy Cohen asked Milo Ventimiglia to name three Mandy Moore songs. And Seth Meyers revealed he had his baby on the floor of his apartment building. Uh, yeah, you guys heard that last one right. Seth Meyers has the craziest story about the birth of his second child, and we have more on that in just a few. But first, you know, Taylor Swift might be one of the biggest artists in music, and now her younger brother Austin is doing his thing in movies. Austin has worked with Pierce Brosnan and Ben Affleck and is now ready to step into the spotlight with a leading role in the film cover versions. And E.T.'s Kelty Knight was with him exclusively at his big screen premiere. But now you're the leading man. So what did you learn from working with those guys that you took into this role? I, I think the biggest thing you learn is just from seeing them work yeah. is how good they actually are yeah. and great they actually are. And you learn to aspire higher than you thought you had to. Right. Um, it. Yeah, it's like they call us aspiring actors. Like you aspire to be that good and that capable. And so <laughs> tried to bring a little bit of that to this one. Leading man, you're thrust in the Hollywood light. Did you get advice from Taylor to handle this world? Uh, a lot of advice in all aspects, but um, I think the best advice I get from Taylor is that she says I can do things, that I can actually, that, you know, in, in the sense that, you know, a lot of times I'm more reserved and cautious, and she's like, you can do it, you can handle it. Um, and that's always, it's always nice to have that in the background. Fearless, if you would say. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> well, how fitting that today is actually National Sibling Day. But I want to know, who would you rather have dinner with? Taylor and Austin Swift, or Cardi B and her sister Hennessy. I'm just saying it would be a blast to hang out with Cardi, as Jimmy Fallon found out last night when the rapper joined him as guest co-host on The Tonight Show. It is so great to have you here. I'm so excited to see you that I might go into labor. I really am. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> I might go into labor too. I'm making history tonight. <laughs> My That's album it. just dropped, but I'm the first late night co-host There's in a White Guy. What's up? That's... <laughs> Well, speaking of late night white guys, Andy Cohen is doing a week of Watch What Happens live in LA. And last night, welcomed guests Milo Ventimiglia and Ricky Martin. And I was in the audience and got the best photo of all time. Like, tell me that does not deserve to go up in the Louvre or Time Magazine's year in review. I'm just saying. Even Milo's giving it a 10. <laughs> All right, Andy put the two smoke shows in the hot seat though, and straight up asked Milo to name three songs from his This Is Us co-star Mandy Moore. Milo, name three Mandy Moore songs. <laughs> I think her album was called Candy. Okay, good, okay, good. And wasn't there a song called Crush? Yes, good. That's two. Uh, I know she was she was only like 15 when she was driving the bug. Oh man, I don't know the rest. I really don't. All right, play that back, you guys, because you can see me at the edge of the frame at the very beginning of that clip. All right, before his part, Ricky was asked about that awkward Barbara Walters interview. You know the one, you know, where she pressed him about his sexuality. Well, here's what he really thought of that whole thing. I felt that she was knocking like punch after punch after punch. It was really uncomfortable, to be honest. Really? But then again, I look at it and I'm why didn't I say yes back then? Were you Just say yes, yes, I'm gay, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Right. right. It would have been good. It would have been good. She was just doing her job. Everybody was asking that question. Everybody was asking the question. Yeah. Right. So, right. So it's a You know, I gotta say, I was actually not expecting that answer from him, but it makes sense, y'all. Ricky's no longer living La Vida Loca. He is settled down, married, and a father of two, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping they adopt me. Look how perfect that family is. All right, but moving on to this wild story from Seth Meyers. He revealed on Late Night, he and his wife welcomed their son, Axel Straw, except the baby was coming so fast that Seth called an Uber and they didn't make it. This after their first son was almost born in an Uber. Take a look. My wife just says, I can't get in the car. I'm going to have the baby right now. The baby is coming. And I, uh, I just, I'm trying to calm her down. I'm like, look, this is it again. I know because I've been through exactly one birth. <laughs> I'm like, this happens all the time. You're feeling, it's not, trust me. I know when I'm talking. And, uh, but even uh, our doula, Neela, was saying like, look, it's, this is, you're going to be fine. And she's like, 
my wife is saying, uh, the baby is coming. The baby is, the baby is out. At which point, uh, Neely looked and then looked at me and said, the baby is out. <laughs> and I looked at my wife, and the only way I can describe how my wife looked was, uh, she looked like someone who was hiding a baby in a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> It was, it was like so, somebody was trying to like sneak a baby on a plane. Don't worry guys, we checked with Uber and the Myers got a refund. That's right, they told us in a statement, quote, we are so happy for Seth and Alexi on the birth of their second child. We refunded the trip and are sending them our best wishes. Well, here's hoping their rating's still intact. All right, that was crazy. You know what, I've been talking a lot about babies this week so far. But thanks for watching anyways, guys. Be sure to head over to etonline.com slash Daily Denny for all these stories. And my Coachella preview will be live on Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific with everything you need to know about Beyonce and the music festival. So make sure you're subscribed to us. Okay, bye.